So first off, I want to say I normally don't read a speech like I'm going to right now. Um, when Jennifer called me up, she basically was like, I want you to talk about climate risk, climate change, which are very hot topics within Fannie Mae and anyone who's worked with us at Fannie, you know, I'm looking at several of our partners. We're not the easiest uh, partner to always work with. So just imagine how hard it was to get this speech signed off on. So I just want to preface that um, before I start. So thank you, Jennifer, for inviting me to speak today. Um, I first want to share a little bit about who Fannie Mae is, because it's a, a name people hear and don't always know a lot about. So Fannie Mae exists to basically make affordable housing reality for millions of folks in the United States. Um, we provide stability and liquidity to the housing market. So our mission is to facilitate equitable and sustainable access to home ownership and quality affordable rentals across America. So we don't operate in the primary uh, mortgage market. Rather, we purchase mortgages from lenders. We bundle these mortgages into mortgage-backed securities that we guarantee and sell to investors. Those lenders then use their replenished cash to originate new mortgages, and this sort of continuous cycle of money helps to create home ownership and rental opportunities for millions of borrowers and renters across the United States. Our mission also drives our environmental actions. Fannie Mae is actively working to understand our climate risk, our, the exposures, and promote resiliency strategies to mitigate the impact of climate change for people whose homes we finance. Climate change presents both immediate and long-term risks to Fannie Mae and our stakeholders in the housing system, including borrowers, renters, lenders, investors, and insurers. We believe the frequency and intensity of major weather-related events in recent years are indicative of climate change, the impacts of which are expected to persist and worsen in the future. Fannie Mae is in focus on understanding and addressing the physical and transitional risks of climate change to our business. We are also focused on how climate change and responses to climate change could affect homeowners and renters we serve. Our climate strategy is designed to help understand and address our financial and business exposure to climate-related risks and opportunities as we respond to the impacts of climate change. To meet this need, our climate strategy is built on three pillars. First, we're refining the methods for quantifying our financial and business exposure to climate-related risks. Second, we want to develop mitigation capabilities to address those risks. And lastly, we want to promote awareness and communicate with our stakeholders about these risks to enable more informed decision making. As Fannie Mae executes and evolves our strategy, we emphasize a few key immediate challenges and gaps, including resiliency, which Alistair and Julie just talked about, insurance, and awareness. We want to enhance the resiliency of our current and future US housing stock with a long term of, aim of making properties better, and, sorry, better able to withstand or recover quickly from climate related events. Additionally, we want to raise awareness so that homeowners, renters, and property owners are adequately insured and prepared for climate related risks to reduce the likelihood of significant financial loss or housing instability. Fannie Mae is also mindful of the intersection of climate risk with issues of housing affordability and racial equity. The cost of its insurance, resiliency, and retrofit measures, and rebuilding could put quality housing out of the reach of many more people. As part of our mission, we aim to promote and facilitate responses to climate change that preserve and enhance affordability and equity. In addition to the impact of acute physical risks, Longer term shifts in climate patterns could result in chronic issues such as sustained higher temperatures, sea level rise, water scarcity, and increased wildfires that negatively affect certain regions, which could negatively affect home prices and multifamily property values in those regions, as well as the abilities of borrowers in those regions to pay their mortgages. The migration of communities and in individuals due to climate related risks and economic factors could lead to change in home prices and multifamily property values in affected regions or an increase or of in lower income houses living, households living in high risk areas. Given the long term nature of both climate change and housing finance, it is important that Fannie Mae continually develop 
our thinking and how these risks could impact the housing market over the short term, medium, and long term. Together with our regulator, the Finan Federal Housing Finance Agency, or FHFA, we are working to understand the impact that climate change may have on the U.S. housing market. Today, Fannie Mae's losses for natural disasters have been limited by geographic diversity, the availability of insurance coverage for damages sustained, the availability of federal, state, or local disaster assistance, and borrowers' equity in their homes continuing to pay their mortgage. As a congressionally chartered entity, Fannie Mae is obligated to support residents' mortgage liquidity nationwide. With very rare exceptions, Fannie Mae does not currently disqualify any single family or multifamily property on the basis of geographic location. Increases in the intensity and frequency of weather-related disasters could strain the mitigants we currently employ. For example, in some areas, insurers have ceased writing new coverage or significantly increased insurance premiums for flood or homeowner's insurance. As coverage for certain perils may become unavailable or prohibitively expensive in an area, home prices or multifamily property values may be negatively impacted. Borrowers may face increased financial strain. Ultimately, desirability of areas that frequently experience hurricanes, wildfires, or other natural disasters may depress property values and inversely affect the region's economy. Fannie Mae is committed to helping homeowners, renters, and communities prepare for and respond to natural disasters and other climate-related risks. This includes working to increase awareness of climate-related risks, protecting current and future housing stock, and supporting disaster recovery and rebuild efforts. One important way to mitigate climate-related risks is to ensure that more properties are built or renovated to withstand extreme weather and other effects of climate change. We are working to support these efforts in several ways, including through specialized loan products and collaboration to strengthen building standards. Fannie Mae's Home Style Energy Loan product provides homeowners with affordable options for financing upgrades that can improve the sustainability and resiliency of their homes. In addition to energy upgrades such as insulation and renewable energy systems, the loans can be used to finance resiliency improvements such as storm surge barriers, upgraded roofs, and wildfire home hardening. Improving the building standards helps us to, helps to ensure that climate-related risks are taken into account during construction and the best practices are shared across communities and the housing industry. As such, we're focused on external outreach to help current and future housing stock. For example, we are working with organizations such as IBHS and Smart Homes America to promote resilience investment to help prepare for and better respond to the effects of climate change. In addition, through our Here to Help program, formerly known as the Disaster Response Network, and staff by MMI, we offer renters, homeowners, at free financial counseling from HUD-approved housing counselors, including help in developing recovery ass assessments and action plans, filing claims, working with mortgage servicers, and identifying and navigating sources of federal, state, and local assistance. Lastly, my team, the Disaster Response and Rebuilding Team, who focuses on coordinating company-wide efforts to support communities affected by natural disasters as they recover. We take the learnings from our work with you all and your communities back to Fannie Mae to help inform how we make, can help make homeowners and renters more resilient. For example, in Mariana, Florida, we worked with a Habitat affiliate in a Hurricane Michael impacted area to build a fortified home, which used our Home Ready product, our affordable lending product, to close the first conventional uh, loan using sweat equity for down payment assistance. This was a historic first. We took those lessons learned and applied that to this, our selling guide, which now is available to anyone in the country. Another example, which I'll talk about in a few more minutes with Shauna, is our nonprofit variants, which we piloted in Paradise, California. This allowed us to convert a uh, property that was foreclosed on and put in our REO portfolio, or real estate owned, and we sold it to uh, Shauna for affordable non uh, affordable rental. We also provided the underlying mortgage, uh, or we bought the underlying mortgage through our single family uh, loan products. This was historic first. Normally, in a single family 
side, we do not make loans to nonprofits. We make loans to people. And so we'll be, I'll be talking a little bit more about that. Um, this is obviously in, was an incredibly important uh, program for Paradise because, as you all know, the first thing that disappears after a disaster is affordable rental. So this is really something that we're very proud of. We, I'm in the process of taking that, those lessons learned and moving that into a national program. So um, it definitely, you know, is a first. Uh, <laughs> and so the idea is we have a program called Community First where we basically, through that program, sell properties to nonprofits and community-oriented entities. And so this would provide the financing for affordable rentals for those organizations. So I want to thank you all for um, being amazing partners. Um, for those of you we've already worked with, for those of you who we haven't worked with, please come find me. Um, and I also want to thank you know Jennifer for all her introductions, you know all the work she's done to create this you know amazing summit. And uh, I think I will be handing it back to you. <laughs>